What do you get when you combine an invisible guitar, my singing voice, as glorious as it is, <laughs> uh, a blustery, snowy night on Christmas Eve, and sake? This is a legit question. What do you get? Well, pause the video, write down what you think it is, and then play it, because this is about to be something truly special. One for the ages, you could say. Let's begin. You ready for the answer? Okay then. Here it is. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You could say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa we believe Burn dun dun She'd been drinking too much eggnog Dun dun And we begged her not to go But she forgot her medication And she staggered out the door into the snow Dun, dun, dun. When we found her Christmas morning At the scene of the attack She had hoof prints on her forehead And incriminating claws marks on her back dun, dun, dun. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You could say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa we believe Now we're all so proud of Grandpa He's been taking this so well Seeing him and watching football Drinking beer and playing cards with Cousin Mal Christmas without Grandma All the families dressed in black And we just can't help but wonder Should we open up her gifts or send them back? SEND THEM BACK?! Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve you could say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe dun, dun, dun. Now the goose is on the table dun, dun. Pudding made of fig Ah And the blue and silver candles That would just have matched the hair on Grandma's wig I've warned all my friends and neighbors. Better watch out for yourselves. They should never give a license to a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves, or me for that matter. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You could say there's no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe... Sing it, Grandpa! Grandma got run over by a reindeer! Walking home from our house Christmas Eve! Now you could say there's no such thing as Santa! But as for me and Grandpa, we believe... Merry Christmas! Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, I sang Let It Go, and we uh, we covered the better half of the bottom area of Kamui, uh, grabbing stray beads, sun, gold dust? Yeah, we got gold dust. And uh, a new brush technique, Cherry Bomb 3, which enable <clears throat> excuse me, enables us to place three simultaneous... Cherry bombs, and then ignite them all with lightning or miss. That was uh, that was actually pretty epic. So yeah, we can we can be uh, overkilly. <laughs> we can be an overkilly. So yeah, now about that song, I missed a couple lyrics, but 
you know, I mean, I was playing the game and and also doing my playing my guitar, so you guys can't blame me for that. So, yeah, I grew up with that song, and I actually love it a lot. It's one of my favorite Christmas songs. So, uh, anyway, this episode, what we're going to be doing is uh, we explored the better half of the bottom area of Kamui. Now we're going to to explore the better half of the upper area of Kamui. So that's how that's going to go. Yeah, plot twist. You never thought of that. But first, uh, if you guys remember last episode, in the end slate, I did a lot of fishing. A lot. I caught so much. So I'd like to sell all that stuff off. Plus, we have, like, two treasures. Yeah, two. There. Uh, but I'd like to sell off the fish because, you know, you can see from the prices here, they're not, they're not that good. But that's just the first part of the list. Second part. Oh, my word. Okay. Look at much, how much money we have now. Let's go ahead and mash A a little bit and get down to the, the good fish. Uh, we have squid, which are worth a pretty penny. And then we get into the actually good stuff. Yellowtail worth 7,500 yen a piece. So let's go ahead and sell that. And then the monkfish, 8,000. And we have two of those. Then the supreme tuna, the supreme fish of that pond. I don't think it's the supreme fish of every pond. I do believe that all of the, the fish vary, but this is the best fish you can get in Kamui. And since Kamui is like the final area where you can fish, I would assume this is the best fish in the game in terms of price. And in terms that it's not a unique fish. Uh, the Supreme Tuna is worth 14,000 yen, and we have four of them. Uh, simple math gives you that we'll be getting 56,000 yen, which will bring us up to 300,000 yen in pocket, which is which makes it so we now have all, almost all of the money we started with last episode. If you remember, we spent 300,000 yen to get Cherry Bomb 3, and now we're reimbursed for that, so that's really cool. Okay, so... Uh, we should probably go this way and not south, because south is south, and this is north, and we want- would, would, ugh, we should be going north. Okay, well, I'm recording this the day after Christmas. My- the schedule's been a little bit wonky lately, and I apologize for that, but Okami's a really, really hard LP. I, you guys- you guys wouldn't believe how hard it is. It just, um, <laughs> compared to Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword was cake. This is- a hard LP because it involves research and uh, it's so much, so many things. And what is that on top of that building? It looks like something I could actually grab. Is it? It does. It looks like something I could grab. Is it? I'm kind of. What is that thing? It's. It, okay, this totally looks like something I could grab. Can I power slash it? Oh, it's a. It's a bird. Oh no, it's an owl. Oh, it's an owl, guys. Look at it's an owl. We've never seen an owl before. I can't feed it, but. It's an owl. That's awesome. That's really cool. I didn't. I, it looks like a stone to me, but it's actually an owl if you look closely. Uh, so yeah, Christmas came and went. It's really snuck snuck up on me. Of course, it snuck up on most people I've talked with. You guys post in the comments if if Christmas just seemed to come really come and go really really quickly. Hopefully, New Year's won't do that because I'm still thinking my New Year's resolution. I followed through on my last one. My last one was I, I kept it really 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 simple. Because, uh, you know, I've never done a New Year's re resolution before this year. And um, it was, it was, eat more, eat, no, sorry. It was, um, try new things. And that mostly meant try new foods. Because I'd kind of, I was really locked in what I would, would and wouldn't eat. Like, I wouldn't eat mushrooms. Not, not because I didn't, I tried them before. Just because they were weird, <laughs> in, in my opinion. But I tried them. And stuff like that. You know, stuff like that. I, I tried new things. Anyway. I need to think of a New, Year, New Year's re resolution. Oh, what have I done? If this carries on, Kamui will be ruined. I have to do something to stop them. But I'm no match for those assassin monsters. Oh, what am I going to do? Hello, Wolfie. What are you doing out in this blizzard? I envy you. You must have such an easy, carefree life. What I wouldn't give to be like you. I'm doomed to spend my days here, living in fear of those monsters. What's eating you, young man? You might feel better if you just talk about it. Oh, you have a ponkle with you. A white wolf and a ponkle? It, that's just like the old legend. This must be the will of the gods. They must have told you to come here and help me. Nah, you got it all wrong, young man. I'm not... I find that whole young man thing a little patronizing. I've got a proper name, you know. I'm called Wally. Distressed youngster, Wally. His mask his mask looks like there's a fish just chomping down on his head. 
Oh, I love your mask, young man. No, sorry, <clears throat> Wally. Listen to my te listen to my tale, messenger of the gods. It all started just over a year ago. I was living in Webkir, the village up in the mountains. It, it's home to Kutone, the divine sword that protects Kamui. Because the village elder always treated it with so much respect, I couldn't help feeling curious. So one day, I touched it. I only touched it a tiny, tiny bit. Honest. Ever since then, I seem to be cursed with bad luck. My sandals broke, I was rejected by the girl I liked, I banged my toe countless times, and an icicle fell on my head. And on top of that, this awful blizzard came along. Now those assassin monsters are out in the wild trying to kill me. I don't want, I didn't want to cause more trouble, so I came to live here. Wow, I can't believe you survived this long all by yourself. So, what did those assassin monsters do to you? Well, it's very strange. You see, they're always staring at me from way off in the distance. I know what they're up to. They're trying to break me down emotionally. Then they'll come in for the kill. You have to help me, Wolfie. You have to get rid of them. See, here is the uh, list with their names. This is where we get the final. Yeah, the final monster list. Creeping Igloo, Snowy Stigma, Stalking Blizzard, Cold Remorse, and Frozen pen uh, peni Penitence. Penitence? Penitence? I don't know. Back. Get out of here. Get out of the menu. Boy, you sure are a thorough young man. I think the gods place some kind of mark on the assassin's monsters. You'll definitely know when you'll see when you see one. They're very wary though. They only come out at night. Please get rid of them for me so that I can sleep peacefully again. You obtained Wally's record of penance. Okay, thank you. What else do you say? The assassin monsters were staring at me again the other day. I could see their burning red eyes and their bright white bodies. Oh, I'm so frightened. You sure that wasn't just a little white bunny? Help me, Wolfie. Get rid of those awful monsters for me. Okay. Um, sure. Not, I won't do it, like, right now, because it would be taking us in areas of Kamui that we have yet to traverse, and I feel like it would spoil things, and also it would be kind of foreign to you guys, because I would just be showing you things on the map that you've never seen before, so I'd rather explore... I almost fell on my chair, which is a very, uh, uh very... Uh, common occurrence. But yeah, I would rather explore and then do the monster list. So we'll do it later on this episode. Okay, so we can actually ex examine this fire. Ah, uh, nothing like good fire. I really should examine everything like I do. I don't know. I just feel wrong if I don't. So going back to what I was talking about before uh, we start talking to Wally, I I'm going to do the steaming gate while we're chatting. Uh, I was talking about Christmas. Christmas was the other day, and it's really neat because, okay, I, I started I started my I started this channel in January I believe it was like January 16th or whatever um, but I, I didn't upload till the 31st but that's that's beside the point I started this almost a year ago now and wait oh I actually I actually used these glove okay and yeah I started out that long ago my my parents were pretty supportive they didn't entirely like understand the process of it and honestly I don't even still I'm still learning a lot um, but they were pretty supportive um, and it's just cool that you know all this time later my that hobby that this hobby I guess um, has affected things like family interactions and and Christmas presents because I got I got some Christmas I got some Christmas presents uh, for the channel well, not like for the channel for viewers or anything, but uh, can I hit you one last time. Oh man, you. <sighs> yeah, so I got. Uh, I I'm not going to say all the things I got because it it does. It, I find comparing Christmas presents with someone that isn't like your very very close fr friend, I don't. I just avoid it as a practice because it ki can kind of turn into a subconscious one up and one upmanship. And while you can condition yourself to avoid such th such situations, you know it's just a risk I'd better I'd rather avoid. But I'll tell you guys a couple things that have to do with my channel. Um, I got another Sennheiser PC 151. Um, that's the microphone I I use to record. I've actually used it since I started the channel. Um, I got I got one of those. So now I have three. Um, I I have bought them over the year and. And Ryan has a, a microphone very, very comparable to Sennheiser. So that means that we have four mics. That's really special. Um, if I tell you guys also bats. Real, th real quick thing about the bats. Uh, I tried turning it to nighttime 
uh, off screen because I was curious if maybe they became active during the night and they actually turned into like an animal that I could feed. But alas, I can't feed them. Uh, yet they have motion and they float, which is really weird. It's like the designers didn't want to spend enough time to actually attach them to the seal. I'm, I'm kind of going on a really big tangent. But the designers didn't spend enough time to attach them to the ceiling, but they gave them enough time to animate them and also add them in the game, period. I don't know. But anyway, um, going back to the original tangent I was on. So, yeah, I I got a Sennheiser PC 151. I also got some things that, uh, like a USB um, microphone port. So now I can, I don't have to have, I believe it was eight, eight or more Y cords uh, to split four mics, uh, because each mic has two connectors and stuff like that, uh, so now I don't have to do that, which is really nice, so, four player recording, yeah, that's a possibility now, well, it's going to be cool, because I have some really good, I have some really big ideas on how I can do some, some recording, so you guys, you guys can stew on that one for a while, okay, you obtain trial, a tribe of the moon, um, I'm kind of done with the whole Christmas thing, oh, oh, another thing I got, um, Many times, actually a lot, many, many, many times, pretty much every single time we see a new enemy, I honestly did don't know that we're going to um, going to encounter it, because I usually don't do practice episodes, because I rather things be fresh. Um, so what I do is in like the loading screen or whatever, I I go to the opposite end of the house on my editing computer, and I look up that enemy, but cool thing for Christmas is I I got like a tablet right um, that was that was the big gift I got a I got a uh, Asus tablet so now I can actually look that look at that stuff up without having to go to the end of the house and I can have material with me in recording because I couldn't do that with my recording computer because it's too slow it's too slow to do that so that's pretty cool but anyway that's 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 all I have to say about that really I'm, I'm done with that um, what I'd like to do now is because I didn't really explain what we're doing in this cave. We're going in this cave for exploration. Um, what I want to do is this is the first scroll I'm actually going to read, I believe. I want to go to the travel guide and go to the bottom because I would like to read that that scroll. It's very, very interesting. Actually, along the way, I just want to make sure that the Mark of Kabigami, Northern Land, Holy Artifacts, Holy Artifacts, just just one moment. Okay, I just want to check to see if that, if that had anything to do with what I wanted to read, but no, it does not. Okay, what I wanted to read is Tribe of the Moon, the scroll we just obtained. It actually has a lot of significance later. After decades of internal debate, I have decided to write about the man who spoke to me regarding the Celestial Plane's destruction. I shall endeavor to shoulder the heavy burden of that man's fate. My brush shall act as a bridge to his shadowy past, to THE shadowy past. The man had identified himself as a member of the Moon Tribe. The idea of life thriving on that desolate rock is mind-boggling. Furthermore, their civilization has far surpassed our own. Most of their ranks succumbed to death, but this man had fled. He was silent on the topic of why his civilization was destroyed. What business could the Golden Tribe of the Moon have with us? I gaze into the distance, knowing the answer cannot evade me forever. Interesting. That has a lot of significance. If you if you keep watching this let's play, it will it will be very clear later on. And for those of you who played the game, if you didn't know that scroll was there, man, that must have sent that must have sent some serious chills down your spine because it it definitely did for me. There are certain there are many things that I I, I guess I just love that feeling of of foreshadowing because I love the feeling of the chills going down your spine where you know you see the designers connected something in the story to something else it's like wow wow that happened and I, I don't know I love that feeling I love discovering those secrets in games okay so we have another diamond rock and a bear hiding back here hello mr. bear oh he's so cute you ill-proportioned bear you oh you look more like a panda let me hit you will you hit me oh he will he will he will he will actually let hit me I want to see how much you do. What you do? Hit me. Boom. Nothing at all. Okay. Let's let's leave. Uh, there's a split path, which I did. I go down? No, I didn't. Don't fall. Yes. Oh no 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 no. There's a little lip on the edge on the edges of of like ledges, 
really. Speaking of lips, that one just just totally messed me up. Ugh, there. Made it. Okay. So in this cave, this one's important. So we get five praise here, nothing to write home about, but we also have some pots, which, I don't know, I can power slash, just make Nova happy. She doesn't watch the LP, but it'll be, it, I can tell her that I, I do next time she's on. Okay, and then there's this chest. We could, we could try and trick, trick out the camera to make the, the, uh, scroll work, but I'd rather just use fire burst, open the chest to get a stray bead. There we go. Oh, I set the bear on fire! I set the bear on fire! Oh, I put him out with ink. You can set animals on fire? And he's... Oh, my word. That is... That is gruesome. That is really gruesome. We set a bear on fire. Man. Ami, you're... <laughs> I guess you really like your barbecue, but... You don't have to be that... That fanatical about it. Sheesh, girl. Man, okay. So... <laughs> Uh, now that we're out of there, out of that poor bear, oh, that poor bear, uh, there's some, there's nighttime, but there are also animals here. A beautiful camera angle of the bridge. Okay, so we want to head up this path now. We've gone around it a lot, but now I'd like to head up, but I would also like to keep the camera zoomed out so we can see the stuff down there, because we're about to go that direction. Because if we keep following this path, it will lead us to the next area, which I def- No! Webkeer! Uh, this is the only view you're going to be getting of this area this episode. No, uh, whoa, it, it's like the whole village has been, fro been frozen solid. I wonder if anyone's still alive. Okay, I didn't want to go through in here. Let's go. Sorry about that, guys. Well, that was an oops. Why can't I see the map trend? Oh, the- Oh, I just didn't- I didn't see the map transition. That was my problem among many other things. Okay, so let's jump down here and get a clover, which actually, mm, if it's if it's 40, if, oh wow, it's 40, wow, I called it. Uh, we can upgrade something. We can upgrade our health, which I will do. I don't really care about astro pouches. Um, I'm just going to be focus, focusing on health from now on until it's, it's full, and then we'll worry about astro pouches because really, extra lives is kind of useless if you're if you're as perfect uh, as a perfectionist as I am okay so we now have a new unit of health three left three wow okay so right here I believe is a stray bead yes it is if you can actually grab it with all the sliding around that you're going to have to be dealing with that's something that's kind of cool you can really wave dash here I, I know it, it has no, like the button inputs are not not even close to wave dashing because <laughs> I can wave dash? Most Let's Players that I meet, well not meet, because I don't meet Let's Players in person, but most Let's Players that I watch, they they cannot wave dash, and I actually, uh, I've, I've never, sh have I shown gameplay footage of it? I've On my other channel, DSS, I've shown me teledashing, but that's entirely different and a lot easier, but I, I do wave dash. For those of you who don't know, you guys all probably know at this point, fish. You guys probably all know at this point, but wave dashing is a mechanic in Melee and the mod for Brawl Project M, where you jump and then air dodge diagonally into gr into the ground um, as soon as you leave the ground, or even once you're good, um, before you leave the ground, you can do it, um, and you will slide in any direction, not like up or no, Ugh! but you'll you'll slide. Oh, okay, cold remorse. Okay, I might as well take this out. Things are not uh, the things are not really going my way, which I'm not I'm not a fan of. Let's just focus this guy. So yeah, um, I, I what point I was trying to make is I can actually wave dash very very consistently. Not like per uh, not I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying you know I can. I have no idea where. Oh yeah, I was go I was talking about the sliding on the ice. But yeah, I was just saying I I was basically just uh, being very long winded. And just trying to say that I can wave dash. Can I please hit this guy? He's he's powered up. These these exercising arrow dudes are very very strong. Okay, let's get over here. It's really hard because it's on the ice, so you're going to be sliding around constantly. Okay, let's go ahead and use fire burst. No, did I use it? No, no. Why? 
There, thank you for opening up. Now let me kill you. And kill you dead. Yes. Finally. <sighs> Cold remorse defeated. What? Stuff is not happening like I want it to happen this episode, which is kind of upsetting because I, I had a lot of big plans for this episode. Okay, let's get out of this and then sign the thing off. I'll actually cut that out. Done. Okay, if you're wondering on the map where that was, it was right here at the very top. <sighs> that was annoying. Okay, what I wanted to show, besides the fact... Uh, there's an iron... Really? <sighs> there's an iron rock here, which will give us a lot of praise. It will give us exactly 40, which I want to grab. And then there's a treasure there, but right next to the, where we got that stray bead. I know, really big sidetrack here. Right next to where we got that stray bead was a bumble wall that I want to take care of. I'm, do I'm just doing this in a really odd fashion because... I went on a tangent about wave dashing. Okay. Uh, go up. No, 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 no. Go up. Not hit the map transition this time. Let the camera adjust itself. And then, jump over here. Let's go ahead and jump off now. And you can see the wall over there. Finally. Ah. Okay. Now, this wall is special, like I said before, because it houses... It houses. That's all I'm going to say. It houses. Uh, once, once I do this, it'll be entirely clear to you what I just unearthed. <sighs> yeah. It's exactly what you think it is. This is the final Devil Gate Trial Cave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing it this episode. But I am jumping in just long enough to get the bandit spider so I'm not having two gigantic battles in one episode. Let's go. I'm really happy in that I don't have to do the Devil Gate Trial Cave this episode. But I can take comfort in the fact that when I do do the Devil Gate Trial Cave, I will be way better prepared. Okay, so the bandit spider, We this is our... Honest, actually, wow, this is actually our fourth time fighting the... What essentially is the spider queen. Uh, so, same exact strategy. I don't even have to talk about strategy. I could talk about something else. This is this is actually basically just a common... No. This is basically a common enemy, except that it's so so stinking huge. If they made it a common enemy, they would get so many complaints. Can we get... Can we get just kill this guy? Seriously? No. Kill him. Can, ah, stupid spider. Get over here and... Okay, so he freed himself. And the buds are going to... Okay, let's actually do this this time. And get a good ranking. Because I'm kind of sick of the bad battle rankings. I am ready. I am set. I am ready and set to go. To get a good ranking. No, 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 no. There. You can open. Yes, you are. Jump up here. And attack him. And Power Slash, I believe, does a lot. So just spam. No, no, no. Spam. There. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do it again. And actually, we could do it from a distance. And then from a distance. And we did a lot of damage right there. Now, if we're able to open him up again in a very short amount of time, we should be able to get a good ranking. We, we're not going to take damage. Like, that's not even a concern at this point. He's so, he's so easy. And his attacks are so easy to, to see coming and easy to dodge that we're never taking damage from this guy. So don't re don't worry about that. And even if we are, you know, we have we have three levels of Godhood, so we're just gonna lose one of them. Okay, we opened him in very a very short amount of time. So let's go ahead and finish him off. Uh, we're going to attack and use brush techniques. Oh no 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 no! Yeah, I killed him. I killed him, right? I killed him. Yeah, I killed him. Okay. Bandit Spider gone! And perfect ranking! Oh yeah! 30,000 yen! That is what I needed for the Devil Gate Trial Cave next episode. And a chest. You guys can probably... You guys probably know what's in this chest. It is a Sun Fragment. What you get for defeating every single Bandit Spider in the game. Okay, so that's that's good. That's, that's cleared out for uh, next episode.
that being done, uh, I believe the next thing I would like to do is, or R is R the the uh, the monster list. I would like to conquer that. But first, I'm going to do a once over in this area to make sure that I'm not missing anything, because that that would just be kind of disjointed for me to do the thing I want to say for the end of the episode and then just do more things. Okay, this way is where I've not I've gone, but I haven't really explored it. Uh, keeping an eye out for buried chests and bears, because bears are a thing. And it's, it's going to be a good long time before we are able to upgrade anything else. Just just saying. Okay, we have this symbol on the wall, nothing else. So we, I, I believe we're free in, the, in clear to, uh, to start the monster list. Normally, I do like to start the monster list from... The, uh, from one side, so since I already did the topmost one, at least I think it's the topmost one, let's go ahead and change it to nighttime. I honestly cannot, I can never tell if it's night or day in this area with this, with this blizzard. And then I can show you guys the rest of the, the locations. Uh, let's go ahead and start cutting to those. Just for the sake of having all of the unique monster locations in one area of the video, if you guys are going for 100% and want to find this and don't want to watch the entire episode, uh, the first one is right here. I already took it out, so it's no longer in this area, but it would would have been right here on the map. The next one, I actually don't even have to cut over to this one, because it's in this clearing right here on the map somewhere. Is that it? No. Uh... Yeah, that is it. Okay, so right there is the unique monster. Snowy Stigma. And now I will cut to the next one. Next to Wally's hut is the next monster. Stalking Blizzard. Right across the river from Wally's hut. Right here on the map. Never mind, not on the map. <laughs> is Frozen Penitence. And finally, right next to Blockhead Grande's tomb is our last Demon Scroll, which I might as well show the battle for because it is the last one. Creeping Igloo. So something I, I wanted to point out for, what is it, Fro Frozen Penitence or whatever, Penitence, um, he he battled alongside a another Igloo Turtle. And that can be a little bit bad because you can lose track of which one is Frozen Penitence and you could accidentally be focusing the one that isn't in order to not end the battle quickly. Because in these, I mean, in unless you're farming, you want to always go for the unique monster because they will killing them always in insta-ends the battle and kills all of the enemies. So you want to focus them and not the other enemies. Because many times, they're more powerful, so you would focus them anyway be to get rid of the threat. Okay, this guy is almost dead, and once he is, we can finally ki finally go to Wally and show him our good work. Creeping Ig Igloo defeated. Okay, I'll meet you over at Wally's because I have to draw his name. Hey Wally, sorry to wake you up in the dead of night, but I wanted to tell you that all of your stalkers have been killed. How's it going with those assassin monsters, Wolfie? W we gave him Wally's filled out record of penance. Wow! All of their names have been crossed out! You did it, Wolfie! You finally did it! Now I can go back, go to the toilet again without looking over my shoulder. And I don't have to crawl about on the ground when I go outside. I suppose so. Maybe that's why the monsters were were staring because he was crawling around and he stunk to high heaven because he couldn't go he couldn't use the facilities. Thanks so much, Wolfie. I don't have have much to give you as a reward, but I, but you can keep this as a token of our friendship. And we got a gold dust. It was terrible of me to think, terror of me to bleh. it was terrible of me to put Kamui in danger like that, and I had to rely on you to fix the mess I made. I'll become strong enough to fight my own battles from now on. Good for you. Fight this one. But what are you doing? Nothing. Just seeing how your work is going. Alrighty. He has a bunch of signs out here. No monsters allowed. <laughs> Does this guy really think the sign's going to keep monsters out? 
I don't know, uh, a sign. Man, he has a lot of these signs. Um, but, I don't know, monsters did. Uh, so, uh, sorry, signs did keep the monsters in check on Oni Island, but then again, those were probably ta placed by Toby, the most powerful being of all eternity. Not really, not even close. But, okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Toby aside, and other stuff aside. Uh, next episode, uh, uh, we're probably, what's probably going to go down is in between episodes, I will, I will buy a bunch of vengeance, uh, vengeance slips and exorcism slips, stuff like that. I'll probably go up to maybe, oh, bare chest. I'll probably go up to 40 of each. I know that's really, exce really excessive. I fell in my chair again. I should really get a new chair for recording. <laughs> but I, I should probably, I should probably get about 40. Um, not because I think I'll need all of them, but it's good, good to have them just in case. And I'll probably get like an equal number of, 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 of steel fist sakes. Uh, and, but also at the beginning of next episode, I would like to go into Webkir because there's a shop there, and it probably has more stuff. So I would like to go there to see what they have to offer. I would be completely fine next episode if I spent all of the 300,000 yen I, I own. Because, I mean, we're, we're trading off 300,000 yen to uh, possibly uh, multiply that times five. We may end up with a million five hundred thousand yen next episode. And at the cost of 300,000 yen... That's that's a really good profit. So we'll probably be doing something along the lines of that. Uh, if if I need more money, I'll probably fish for it and kill enemies. Okay, so like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. I release new episodes of Akami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I can make next episode so that you would like it. I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.